Mm-hmm. What's good? What's good? What's good? Your boy Brett Bronson. You already know. Yeah. We back. We back. Everybody test y'all mics. Y'all good? Pause. 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 I know yo, you're good. Yo. Testing. Testing. We good. Yeah. Check one. Check one. Okay. We are back. We are back. We are back. With the elite. With the, the elite. illustrious. P.E. How y'all feeling again, man? Feeling we good, man. we just good. left off, you know, getting into you guys' personal things, but we ain't here to be personal. Mm. Now we want to talk some basketball. Spicy. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Very, Trinidadian, very Dominican, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not, y'all not scared of no spice, right? No, that's facts. All right, then. So, 40 Cal, we'll start with you. Um, you have been getting buckets out here a long time. Facts. And I feel like people do not understand your basketball history. So can you enlighten some people about your high school career, please? High school, uh, 2007 player of the year. What? what? Player of the year. That means the big page, the big joint on the page. The big page. Yeah, nice yeah. little spread out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all got, yo, whoever is your, your PR, man, <laughs> <laughs> yo, shout out to the PEPR because you guys are seasoned, boy. And that, and that spells pepper, so that's bars. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you, forgot, you forgot he was Z Bling in the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget five star Z Bling. Don't all right, all right. We ain't here for all that. <laughs> we are not here for all that. Player, <laughs> so now back to you, 40 Cal man. So, player of the year 2007. Yeah. What school did you go to? North Rockland High School. North Rockland High School. Wow, yes, man, this is getting crazy. All right, so 2007 player of the year. Mm-hmm. Was there any moments that you could tell me any big players you played against that you could really recall that was a a, a real issue? Like, damn, I hated seeing this dude. And then we'll get into some other like, stuff, like on, like on the regular, yeah. Lamont Lance. Oh, mm. animal. The animal. He was Word. an animal. Okay. That was, every time you see him, that's a hey, that's a long day. <laughs> Yo, that's he had fact. mad energy too. Him and his damn brother. And he was he was playing the point. <laughs> mm. That's a long day. <laughs> it's that's a, a very long day picking up ninety folk. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> He's picking you up. Yo, okay, okay. That's a that's a dope name. That's a dope name. So can you tell me something? Because we're going to keep it street level. Can you tell me a point in time in your street basketball career, uh-huh. a big moment for you that you can recall right off the top of your head? I would say one of my most fun summers was uh, when I first graduated high school. So, like, 07. Mm-hmm. So, that summer, I got to do my own team. The Posse? The Posse. So, I was on Straw Town, but y'all, you know, y'all had it on lock out there. Y'all won every championship. So, I played with y'all one, my like, when I was 16, I played with y'all. Yeah. Y'all put me on the team, won the chip, and I'm like... Then you was just too good. Nah, I wasn't too good. Nah, you were. Y'all was too good. No, was, you were too good. I wanted to play against y'all, you know what I'm saying? Keep it 100. And not not even you were too good in a negative way. It was just that, it was like, bro, you are you. Are you. you could definitely... That's what I said in the beginning. You feel? You see why I said all that before? Because you are you. I knew that, nah, this guy, go get your guys. Y'all gonna be good, trust me. It's you running it, ah, uh, ah, uh, and the posse was out there. Yo, that was... <laughs> That was one of the most fun summers of my life. Yo, I got to laugh because the posse was out there punishing people. So paint the full picture. Like, where were y'all hooping? So, Who was on the squad? We, like, had, we had me, mm-hmm. my boy Danny the Shooter. Mm-hmm. Danny. Marcel Allen. And this is like right after he was done with school, so he was still hooping. Still throwing it on people viciously um, with that left hand. My man Josh Tate from Nyack College. Mm-hmm. Um, we had Kuban- John Kubanik on the team. Mm-hmm. We had Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Didn't you have Will for one year? We had Will. Yeah. Stretch. stretch. They called him Stretch in the park. He, he was, was punching, punching everybody. <laughs> off the record, Will. Before you get crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before Will, you get crazy. Will was punching on everybody. Word. Word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then that's 2007. You came on the scene. You was doing your thing. All right. Now tell me about summer 2019. What happened to you guys, man? Same fate that happened to the bullies. <laughs> What happened to you guys against the underdogs, in your own words? Because we never got a chance to speak about this, but what what happened? I would say life happened. We had a lot going on just as adults, and basketball wasn't at the forefront for I us. I hear that. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, we caught an L in, in the early playoff round. I mean, listen, bro. Trust me. The Bullies, we got clapped by y'all a few times. Y'all sent us home a few times. But we done sent some people home a few times, too. So I understand. And for all you out there that yeah, say you that win my some, you lose some. word. So for all you out there that's like, yo, Brett, this league is rigged. I never won. <laughs> <laughs> the bullies have not won a championship. So Crazy. stop telling me about the league being rigged. Like I'm gonna rig the league for y'all. 
Man, <laughs> like please. A, like a bad experience. <laughs> Man, please. I'm bringing this joy for myself. <laughs> if I'm going to do it for anybody, I'm bugging. <laughs> anyway, so now that we got a little history on my man 40 Cal, who I gave that nickname to in that Spring Valley tournament when he was giving everybody the business. Somebody guard him. Somebody get this dude. Take this 40 on your head top. And I made sure I let everybody know about it till this day. So, we're going to move on from my man 40. 40. And we're going to get into my guy, Hoop Firm. Uh Uh-oh. What's good? Hoop Firm. How are you, man? What year you graduated? 2011. 2011. So, we got a a different dynamic in here. Okay. 2007, Martinez brother. Mm-hmm. 2011 Martinez brother huh <laughs> watch you guys man yeah one on one when y'all was really I, at it uh oh who, who was the who's victorious uh oh who was the top dog who was the top yeah. Martinez we was playing one on one uh man I was younger that was probably the last time we was really like really really playing one on one like so what year was school. this huh what year was what that? year was that because you're the youngest that's why I want to ask you these type of questions. Be 2007, and then when they went to college, probably a couple times after. Oh, that, so you so. were playing against Player of the Year staff. <laughs> you were playing against your brother at talk, that talk. time, Shaden, who was <laughs> at that time he was yeah. doing the most, bro. Like they For sleep real. on Shaden, but Shaden was, yeah, was Shanin the was realest, For I'll, real. I'll, one of the realest. I'll say this though, we all beat each other, but being that I'm the middle brother. I'm the only one that got wins against all three brothers. Ooh, <laughs> that's spice. That's spice. spice. Ooh. So, and so yeah, I wasn't really playing against Shane. Yeah, he could, he, like yeah, that, he was, nah. Yeah. nah, he was younger. Nah. Too young for that? I mean, yeah, I yo, was like, like, I was like 13. Shane in like, yeah, he was in college. Right? Shane, so, so. Shane was the original big body Benz. That was yo. That would have been. Yeah, 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 that's true. And now that I think about it, with that push off, I, I mean, not push off, because I know y'all, y'all don't like your family doesn't like to call it a push off, because I seen push. the trademarking, I saw the don't trademark push. on the Martinez extension, <laughs> <laughs> I seen the trademark on it, so slight, I'm not, you know, slight extension, slight extension. I know y'all don't like to call it a push off, slight and italic. So, so when when Gregory taught you that move, <laughs> when when it was your thirteenth birthday and he taught you all the push off, how did y'all feel? about this move that would make you guys legendary basketball players come on man <laughs> <laughs> I, I co-signed that all jokes aside all jokes aside the pedigree of your family is kind of crazy realistically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like how you guys have from sean down Word. like nothing but basketball Word. pedigree and then i see that you have some next generations coming that is going to be you know <laughs> who knows what's going to happen by by the time they get with all the basketball knowledge that they're going to be able to acquire from everybody that's going to be it. crazy think about being 4 years old and getting trained every day crazy yeah, that's, that's 4 crazy. years old bro that's, that's, that's ridiculous or or actually no i can't think that's Tavon sledge that's crazy yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought about it already that's Tavon shout out to T sledge yo you and he was the only one out here like that yeah like, he was a when we were hooping, warrior when we were hooping cuz think about it our generation we just hooped. We didn't do really. We didn't train we like train, that. We didn't yeah. do drills. Facts. Like you just walk to the nearest park. Yeah. Exactly. Park. So our everywhere. What I say is Word. our generation. We got better basketball IQ like in game. But this generation, their skills is through the roof. Crazy. Like, it's through the roof. Crazy. So it's different. You know what I'm saying? But so, and these so, kids is in the gym too. They're yeah, working out exactly way yeah. earlier than we yeah. did. Exactly. So, so thank you for touching on that about skill, right? <laughs> so Mr. Perez, that's exactly where I wanted to talk to you about a guy like you. Right? Yep. How tall are you? 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. And you played center. Basically, they threw you at the center position your whole life. Because you were the center, tallest. Man. Because you were tall. Correct. Right. And, and forget the tall. Because you were bouncy. We're not going to discredit <laughs> you like being bouncy. bouncy. You know what I'm saying? We got the footage. <laughs> we done seen you put it on a lot of people's head tops. A lot of concussions I had to sign off on. <laughs> you know, this is the earliest stages in the Have a Straw Gym. Y'all don't know about that. This is what y'all tell y'all. Y'all coming on to this late. Some of y'all catching on 2019 when we made the jump. And y'all like, oh, Palisades Elite, they suck. You guys are bugging. <laughs> Stop hitting tips? me. Stop hitting me up. Talk about Palisades Elite. Y'all do not want that work. I promise you guys. Now, back to you, John. I'm sorry. So how do you feel about being, in my eyes, one of these guys that fall into the mold of like a center that should have been playing multiple positions Facts. out here? You know what I'm saying? Instead of, if they would have, I feel like if they would have taught you more skill instead of just back to the basket, what schools do you think you would have went to, brother? Come on, man. I could have gone to a pretty good schools, man. So do you feel like the uh, now looking at how basketball's <clears throat> shaped out, and everybody has to be a skilled player on the floor. 
like my man Hoop Firm once told us. Everybody on the floor has to be a skilled player at this point. Do you feel like uh, the it wasn't I can't call it training from coaches back then. I no guess training. the knowledge from coaches back then were wrong. I'll say there's just way more information now than back then. It's like a hundred times. Elaborate, what you mean? Like, yeah, you have to elaborate, please. One, you could go on you could go on social media mm -hmm. and you could see NBA dudes what they doing, mm -hmm. all these coaches what they doing. Mm -hmm. There's Instagram, YouTube and mm -hmm. you know, you could go out there and mimic it, people like me doing breakdowns mm -hmm. there's people that's really doing it like then we, we was just hooping we was just playing listening to our brothers listening to our teammates compete and we just go hard and that's why he he was uh he was so good like that because he's just somebody he had athleticism and he 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 played a lot bigger than you know yeah he, he was he like yeah it also uh, depends uh, like what kind of player you are like yeah. if you know my history like nobody knew who i was mm -hmm. like, i didn't even know steph shane talk I didn't about know it. nobody so in have throw middle school, we were I was always winning though. I didn't have no skill, you know, I was always rebounding. For some reason I had a knack for the ball. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the ball would always be in my hand. And always always be put back. Even like anywhere, like I was never that selfish. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't give me the ball, fuck it, I'm gonna go get the ball. Whoa! First, 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 that's what it is. first oh, donation. Hold on, hold on. That's I know the I, I know the triplets got it. <laughs> I, I know the triplets got it. I seen the YouTube page. The YouTube page is popping. The Instagram is popping. So I know you got it. There will be a donation for cursing. Continue. No, <laughs> it's a Continue. family show. This is a family but show. From there, you know, there were people that were playing JV. I was on freshman. Again, we were killing, winning, winning. Oh, so it's not even like when you were in, what year did you get to high school? To the high school? No, because when I first started, Fieldstone opened up. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm old, bro. Then uh, we were winning then. That's when they, they Coach Roth and them started to see me. He's like, oh, okay. Let's bring him up. Um, and try out, killing, did my thing. And then the year I played with Edwin, I mm. was a sophomore. That's my first time on varsity. Shout out to EP3. You know, nice. um, great leader, learned a lot from him. Like, again, I, nobody knew me, but again, I was still doing my thing. And it was all be rebounding effort. It wouldn't even be skill. It would just be effort. Mm -hmm. And after that, then Shane came. I would, then it was my team from junior year, senior year. It was my team. So only two years? Two, two years. I only played three years on um, varsity. The first year was um, Edwin's team. Nobody mm -hmm. knew who I was. Mm -hmm. Then the next two years, I took over. And then what did we lose? We lost like five games in two years. Five games in and two yo, years. And y'all had y'all had the MS, a real big thing that changed. Five I think y'all were the games. first MSG varsity year, right? Was that were y'all like yeah, the yeah, pioneers? Was that, that you or right after you? Like, nah, they were on it because I was in Long Island. I was watching yeah, cricket. Was on it. Yeah, we beat Long Island Lutheran. Mm. Yeah. They, ranked, they had somebody going to Villanova. Mm -hmm. like, and our mm. that's, that's one thing I'll say about John. No matter who we played, he always showed up. In that game, he, he embarrassed he embarrassed that team. Talk to him. Talk to him. Huh? Yo, never tuck your towel, baby. I you know never, I love this type of talk. That was that was um that was the the slam dunk tournament that they have the every county winter center. at the county center, mm -hmm. and it's invite only. But um, go to the year prior, your junior year. Like yeah, nobody knew who we were. They had all these preseason rankings. We wasn't even on there, mm -hmm. and, then, uh -huh. and then we was in the in the county center, all juniors, sophomores. Yep. And then the following nice. year, John senior year, we got invited there. And then, yeah, they just threw us at them first game. First game of the tournament because they first thought we game. was going to get washed up. They they ranked uh, number they were, two like, they in the state. Top five, this oh, they threw you out to the wolves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this person going Villanova. This person going here, here, and there. And Michigan then, versus Appalachian yeah. State. Yeah. <laughs> and it Try was crazy you because up. we won. We won easy. And then we played we, uh, who we played. We played White played Plains that after that. White and then, right yeah, we won that tournament easy. Won that tournament easy. And, and I, it, was, it was crazy. We were, I'll, I'll say this. Like, as a bowler, there will be, like, very few players. Like, everybody has their guy that's, like, if he's on my team, I feel like I could beat anybody. Mm -hmm. I would say I'm blessed to play with multiple guys like that. And when these two are on my team, I feel like there's nobody we can't beat. Like, it don't matter who it is. Ooh, I already know I me like and Shane. That. Like, in our prime, me and Shane picking up full court the whole game. Mm -hmm. John dominating the paint, mm -hmm. grabbing every board. We not worried. No matter how big or small we are, he's, he's controlling the paint. We're not worried about it. He's scoring. Like, I'm these sorry. two, these two are dogs, man. Straight that's the, dogs. That's the thing about us. Like, 
Steph can get drop 40, I'll be happy for him. Shane can drop 40, Facts. I'll be happy for him. We're mm -hmm. just happy for each other. And we do the things that we need to do to win. Winning is very important. And and that's the most you're a winner, man. That's the most important. And that's what I feel like we all are. We, we're winners. So whatever we have to do or whatever we have to sacrifice at that moment, we're going to do, do it. Mm -hmm. With no problem. I yes. mean, you don't have to tell me, brother. I know, man. I done, I done made it to the finals against y'all plenty of times and lost. I done watched you guys hoist up plenty of championships. I done had to grit my teeth and do plenty of interviews after I done <laughs> lost games, you know, and be respectable. So trust me, I know. But one, I know. One thing I do want to shout out. When we were younger, though, and we were beating. I know in Rockland, there's no team that was messing with us. No team at all. What year is this, you're saying? 2008 to 2010. Those two yeah, years. 2008 to when 2010. You, when you look at, you can and look it doesn't even matter. Like games, um, playoff games, regular season, uh, championship, whatever. Teams normal scoring, like it was, it was down by like half that. Like that's how crazy. <laughs> I, didn't play, I didn't play fourth quarter. Like, yeah, that's I, how crazy. That's crazy. Actually, you like, know what's crazy? Sorry to cut you off. I did hear that kind of stat about you. That there's a lot of games you didn't even play the fourth. We, nah, we ended teams at we we ended teams at halftime. It would be eighty yeah, to bad. forty, eighty to twenty. That's nuts. And that's crazy because that would have jumped you out scoring average at For least real. five to seven mm -hmm. points, and that separates what school you go to. Exactly. I mean, but that, exactly. it's a but formula. But I, that's one thing I regret that we didn't have more exposure. Like if we started mm -hmm. going to, um, across the bridge more, mm -hmm. we would have had more exposure. Like we'd be Gordon, we'd be. And that's when Rob decided um, to bring um, us to over this. Um, Across the bridge to Poughkeepsie, or no, the White Plains tournament. We were we were killing in that too, mm -hmm. like everything. Yeah, even my year, we played in a White Plains tournament. Um, yeah, but we, your, there was a gap. There's a gap that oh, they, so stopped, they stopped doing. A, it. I, oh. I don't know if it was with stuff too, but there's a gap that they stopped doing that. They stopped doing the the county championship. Mm -hmm. Our year, they brought that back, and it was us versus Spring Valley. We beat Spring Valley. Dope. Wait, what? We beat Spring Valley. What year was yeah. this? 2010. 2010 too. Who was on that team? What what marquee players can you name that was on that team in 2010 that should be? No disrespect to anybody back then. They had good. They had good They had old players. Yeah. They had old players, but at that time, at that time, that time's just a blur. Just a blur, right? No disrespect to no team. Nah, it's too late. What you mean? No, this is too late. At that time, it didn't matter. We got the footage. You just said, yo, we only lost five games in two years. That's you nuts. can't fast forward and go, no disrespect. To, nah, disrespect, y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> when, in those two years, from 2008 to 2010, all you other teams in the county, y'all sucked. Let's get it right. These two guys are letting y'all know that they were running the scene. It's, yeah, shout out to it's our team, 2020 man. now. Shout out to our team. 12 years for later, real, you know? It is what it is, but that's dope, man. Yeah, shout out to our team. Jeff Jackson was cooking point guard. Jeff. Oh. Don't forget about him. My man, Jeff, Jeff R. Smith. No, no, no. <laughs> Lester was doing his thing, too. James. Oh, less money. Yo, y'all had a money. squad. Yeah, right. yeah, KJ. KJ. And y'all had Call of Duty. Wild Style Kyle, he, we let him play. Well, he played a couple games. I don't know. So he he Yo, wait, y'all had KJ, Wild Style Kyle, Lester. George, George Cruz, Cruz, you, shout out you to two. George, Stephen yeah. Carey, Stephen Carey. Yo, y'all had a y'all had a squad. Yeah, a squad we had yeah. uh, uh, Frankie Rosario, Frankie, Quaz, Quaz. I forgot. Yo, and people don't even realize Quaz, man. Quaz was the uh, Quaz so is the OG OG Black Panther. There's yeah. been a few versions. But Quad is the OG OG Black Panther. I seen this dude do a two-handed windmill off one step. That's Quaz, nice. Quaz in a game. Is? Just because oh, I'm, I'm like, you know yeah, how I do, like crazy. he's like, oh, I could dunk. I'm like, I right, dunk. He dunked one hand. I'm like, all right, anybody that dunks could dunk one hand. Dunk two hands, so I know it's real. <laughs> Dude, he took one step, two hand windmill, full two hand windmill. I said, nah, that's, that's yeah, crazy. that's the only different. downfall for Quad was really his in game IQ. He didn't have that much experience. experience. experience game. Mm. But athletic. But Quad's Quad's his athleticism was so crazy. He he never even played football. And he <laughs> and he was. He was starting in, he in walked football. In. He, he walked just down. walked on. And That's what I'm saying, super man. Super athlete. That's super nice. athlete. I actually yeah. want to touch one thing when you said about the position thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perez. I wanted to get back to that, too. I would say one of the biggest difference between, like, a lot of coaches and then you have trainers, the coach is going to do his best for the team. So he don't, job. he don't really care. what. A lot of coaches don't really care what you're going to do after this. What can you do for me now? Mm-hmm. 
it's coaches that had Kevin Durant at center when he was in 9th, 10th grade. You think they, they didn't know he was the greatest? They knew. But for what their team needed, that's where they put him. Yeah. Then you got trainers, or then you have coaches like Shane. I see how he does with his girls. He got his best player playing one through five. Yeah, we need you at the five, but you can also handle the ball. We're going to put mm-hmm. you at the two. Mm-hmm. We're going to space you out, hit some jump shots. We're going to have you slashing. And that's what separates, you know, some coaches from other coaches. And I respect and that because that's full knowledge of the game. Exactly. Not the position. The game of basketball. Like, if you only water it down and, and focus on one position and t- teach somebody this one skill of this position, how can they be s- successful? You're giving them a fifth of the game. Yeah, it's impossible. So, even even with that, I'm not knocking coaches that do that. I'm knocking them. Because that's what's best for the team. No, nah, I'm knocking nah, them. But to I'm still, knocking to still them. Teach them the coaches them. that... You them. still got to teach them them skills. My like, man Mir Khan, he could have been a you know a four or a three or something if somebody got him. Ra Chase, are you mm-hmm. kidding me? Well, that's what I'm. There wasn't trainers back then though. And coaches, but, but were, there were coaches. They were coaching and, the team. Yeah. Cool. So what I'm saying is that's why I'm trying to put this out now. I but, feel like you know like I love what you're doing. That's why I respect yeah. what he's well, that's doing. Why, right. That's he why. That's why like all. now these kids, the talent level is just like through the roof. It's crazy. Because, yeah. yeah, but you know you, more, most coaches, regardless, like they're just gonna work with what they got. Most co- mm-hmm. coaches was not, you know, with, yeah. it was not their 365. You know, yeah. they're, they're, the not gonna, they're not so going to make you, you in the 365, trials, you couldn't even get open gym after yeah, practice, yeah, bro. So, so when you come in in trials, they're like, all right, uh, they not really good going to the left. We're going to have all these plays going to the right, you know? That's, that's how <laughs> that's it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, I'm that's not That's how it's going to be. But, that's but, most coaches, wait, honestly. Wait. That's, that's, that's most coaches. Um, maybe not. The new ones coming up now because you know the game is just expanded and at, they understand at a crazy yeah. rapid yep. rate and mm-hmm. you know it's just a lot different now. But yeah, that was that's that's pretty much how it was. That's how but it was. Times are changing too. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. back then, you didn't see a center two shooting threes. Fact. So now, mm-hmm. obviously, you need to adapt. Back then, it was just like go in the post, get the get the bucket. Even in the college level, but mm-hmm. now you even you gotta, the NBA. In the NBA, you gotta mm-hmm. adapt. Well, yeah, well, I, the kids now. There's, there's, there's also a lot more competition at the coaching level. Back then, all coaches were just putting their biggest guy in, in the paint, so you could yeah. get away with that. But yeah. now, when the other team's big man is developed and all and their skilled. all their guys are developed and skilled and can shoot, dribble, it's like, man, I, got, I guess I got to do it on my players too. So right. I, I think what really happened with the transition of basketball, the elevation of basketball, it really just took out like the goons. Like, there used to be guys in the NBA that literally had no skill. Yeah, just like, out there gooning. Like, like you there to foul like, hard. Oh, he's a bruiser. And, that is not a talent. Like, <laughs> like, he's out here to hack and hurt. Like, come I would, on. I would, say, I would say one thing that has elevated basketball as a whole, not just Rockland, New York. Yeah, just basketball. Basketball as a whole, young people are involved with basketball past playing immediately. Mm-hmm. Just think mm-hmm. about back in the day. All of our co- ever not not in a bad way. But all over the world, coaches were older guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now it's guys that are in tune with the game, what's going on, what's mm-hmm. new, what works, what doesn't, how the game is transitioning. So it's just taking everything to another level. We, and I, and we, I we, didn't, we didn't really have a lot of young people giving back as far as basketball when, when, when we were growing up. Not at all. You know, we had Not Steve, young people. We, we had Steve Diaz. That's a fact. And, I, you know, the uh, only we one. had Chris Moore in North Rockland, and, and that, was, we didn't, that was pretty much it. We didn't I mean, have a for, lot of – For me, only Steve. Steve Diaz, Boo. I'll, I'll say Boo put me on and put me, brought me to a lot of places as far as, like, younger oh, people. Oh, yeah, same, same. But, like, other than Boo but, but and far, Steve. But as far as, like, coaching you, like, there wasn't a lot. Nah. Yeah. I, you know, and, and now everywhere you go, there's young guys. There's guys in their twenties. As soon as they're done playing ball, as soon as they're done, they're 23 years old. They're not a coaching training. It's different now. So mm-hmm. you, you, there's a lot more ways for you to get better. A lot more places for you to go to get better. Like you said, when we played, we had to get better on our own. Facts. If I you, watched a lot of and one tapes. If you wasn't playing every day after <laughs> school, you wasn't gonna be it. You had to put in the Back work when, when there wasn't before, nobody coming to get you, show you new moves. You had to make up your own moves. Facts. Before um. That's a fact. All the all the pickup that uh, it was a half court at the rec. One half was just mad kids packed, and you was running threes. You was yeah. just running the three on yep. three. And if you lose, yeah. you might as well if you go lose, home. go home. Go home. Yeah. That's what I mean. So a lot of people can't survive these type of eras where, like, you know, you <laughs> literally you you <laughs> you waited all day. Think about just think about this scenario. You wait all day to come to the rec. You get mm-hmm. to the rec at five thirty. Yep. It's packed. You put your name on this list. Mm-hmm. You and your other two buddies. Y'all finally get a chance to get on the court at like six. Y'all get scraped. You go to put your name back on the list, and it's like an hour wait. Yeah. You're going and home. At the, that's why, and it closed at seven. And it, <laughs> don't forget that. That's how, that's how, like, my brothers helped me. That's how we got better because when, uh, whatever, Shannon used to watch me, and he was playing. He, We would just, we would walk. 
uh, by the train tracks, walk over the train tracks. My mom knew she didn't want me walk on the train tracks. We still went. So we trying to hoop. Uh oh, this guy's a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hoop, we trying to bowl, and you know he. And he would throw me on the team regardless. He would nice. just throw me on the team, and I would get, you know, I was getting cut for years, and but that's what made me better. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's that's how he got better. He was trying to win. That's how bad he wanted to win. Right. And that's how hard he had you to have work. to. You have to. I feel work. like so that's. So I was getting, I was getting a lot better because I was so much younger playing against all these older dudes, and and he was getting better because the team wasn't stacked, like you know. So he had to maneuver how to, you know, get that win. Yeah. And we was, and we was still, we was still win. We I, still I would win. say that's one edge that we had growing up is. We had brothers that did that for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, other people didn't have that. They only had older yes. coaches. Like, we had brothers that were how these young guys, people now have young coaches. I had that my whole life. I had Sean. I had Shane. And I had Shane. So, Word. you know, yeah. I had Chris to Jesus every single day. There wasn't a day nice. we didn't play ball. Shout out to my man, Mega Man. His Word. pops was taking us Lord everywhere. Lord Freeze That's met, somebody that was really into yeah. That He'll dude, take you anywhere in the city, anything. He had us playing with grown men at the age we thought we couldn't. And he was like, no, you can we're like, but we're 12. He's like, no, you can't. You're good. Doesn't matter. Go play. And he That's played with on the team. And they're like, those guys can't play. He's like, nah, he's on. He's on my. They're on my team. We're good. And then Chris is what five four. Mm-hmm. So now they looking. I'm, and I'm skinny. They looking at us like these kids. And then we come on. Shink, 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 shink. Game over. And, and that took that helped our game get to another level. We, so we were blessed to have people around us that most people they didn't have like that. That's, that's a even fact. like because um, I know I didn't have that type. Me of stuff. and John friend group. Like, we would, we would be in Sampsondale, and our whole high school team, majority of the team, live on the same street or across the street or down the street. It was just Sampsondale, where I live, Avistro. That was, that was like nine players out the team. So you think the secret to you, uh, so you think the secret to your success, rather, for your high school career was chemistry? Chemistry, chemistry, but you, you, you need, like, it's, you're not going to get it on your own. Like, <laughs> like you need people around you that's going to push you because uh, somebody got to – you know, push those boundaries, and whether it's your brothers or your friends, you, you should link up with somebody that that's gonna, you know, on that on that same mission to uh, you I'll, know. I'll, I'll to say that. Thing too, and, the, no, John. the thing too about our team, we had people who thought they were the man, so we all had to prove to each other that we were all good. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of one on one on ones. Mad one on ones <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> now we ain't going home. Going <laughs> but one thing I do want to get to the root of, I want to know who taught Shane. Because Shane averaged like three steals. It, it, it was what um, Steph was talking about earlier. Like they would pick up people full court. Mm-hmm. Shane was doing that on our team. And he was young. He was the youngest one. And he was skinny. This, this, I don't, this, this came v- out of the VOH will be tested. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, Shane was a twig, man. We were all twigs. But he would um, steal the ball and he would kick it. But they would never get caught. <laughs> and he would average nah, three nah. steals oh. back there. No kick, no kick. No kick. Actually, <laughs> now that I think nah, about nah, it, nah, now that I the think about it, with this, all of y'all have a it. soccer background. That's a fact. All of you. Yep. <laughs> not, 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 not just like, all right, one of, no, all of you have a soccer background. So I believe it. It's that Trini blood. I believe you kicked it. You had no choice. No, I'm not going to lie. You saw it and it was like, Salah, Salah, Salah. Salah. I would be running back. I would be running back. And Shane would be on the other. He would be. Uh, he would be scoring a layup by then. Now I'll tell you the truth. Cause he used to kick it because we would play one on one in Samsondale. And it was the day we almost got into a fight because I knew the kick was coming, and he started tripping me with his foot and not getting the ball. I was so mad. My foot was planted on the ground. Oh, <laughs> man. Under the ball. It just happened to be under the ball. Just happened to turn out that way. I got to watch you. Yeah, I'm, not mad. I'm not mad. If he didn't get called for it, he did it in hey. a way. It was the, you know what I'm saying? One thing, one, steals per game. one thing I wanted to say about, you said the chemistry. I would say like those great North Rockland teams, 03, 07, 09 with them. These were really my guys that I Fact. hung out with. It wasn't just basketball. Like, oh, these Fact. are guys that nice, so we hoop together. Like, no, these nah. are my, these are really my guys. Rosa, Mark, the Jesus. We hanging out every single day since like me and Chris in second grade. Mm-hmm. Rosa and Mark since middle school. Like mm-hmm. every single day. Jermaine was on your roster too. Wallace. Jermaine had moved oh, to Wallace's. South Carolina. Oh, that's so when we he had moved. him when he was on JV killing and yeah, and then when he came back. Yeah, some. I remember when when Wallow came back. And I would say the same thing with them, like and his team, like. Those are really they were really friends, those guys. So right. it wasn't like it was just basketball. That's why it's easy to be selfless when it's people you love because you want to see them do even better than you. So when they score, that that's ha- that makes you happier than no. when you score. Drop you know what I'm saying? Yo, what is going on with this that guy's PR that, work, that, yo? Nah, that's, yo, nah, that's real P E got the ultimate talk, PR, talk. man. Yep. I got They got the pepper. 
that yo, I gotta, I gotta step my game up. I, no, who, just... Whoever is doing, I'm letting this be known. Whoever is doing the PR for PE, contact me. <laughs> because I'm look, trying to change my image. Because, <laughs> I but, want to be a friendlier Brett Bronson. But nah, that's just the honest <laughs> truth. Because you look a lot of places, it's guys that are nasty, and that's they look fact. at us like, oh, we nicer than them. And when they play us, they can't beat us because it's mm-hmm. it's us. It's right. him, 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 him versus us. There's oh, no him, yeah. him. Trust me, same you know thing. Saying? Like you know, so, when we were in Spring Valley, the same thing. The guys that I played with are my yeah. friends, my guys. Exactly. All day long, we chilling, we cracking jokes, and yeah. then we go into the wreck and playing three on three separately. Right. You know what I mean? To make sure that we still keep that fire oh, exactly. engaged. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's the part that's missing. See how I said it? Like, yeah, we're on the same team here, but over here, no, 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 no. We got to make sure that we still know because steel sharpens steel. Facts. Like you guys, you yeah. said it. Like, okay, yeah, we knew we had some individuals that were on our team that thought they were the best, but now we're going to have to prove it now. Right. One-on-ones all day long. All day. Yo, you know how many times I played the Shannon for, we used to play each other for all sneakers. Day. Yeah, y'all all, crazy. Like y'all every wild. week. Yo. I played one-on-one-on-ones, <laughs> full court, Facts. half court. King of the Ring, all, all you that. have to do that. And I'll say some of the people in the county that I see with that type of chemistry, I would say like Tavon and Mills of Spring Valley. Them two, mm. the family. That's like For shout real. out to the, the family. family. Them period, two, yeah. actually, so, they're gonna be playing tonight. So, so shout out to yeah, the family. Tavon and, their Tavon and Mills. Always, they're, they're, they're on that same. That but them, same them page. two, the way they play together, it's like they just understand each other. Word. So whenever y'all ready to come to PE, y'all just you know <laughs> highlight us. You feel me? Ooh, I hear that. Okay. All right, so then that means you're going to let Joe Lindsay start? I mean, we we, we, we <laughs> have to talk about it. <laughs> Mighty quiet up in here. For real, you had to think on that one. Word. All right, so before we get up out of here, we're going to get through our shout-outs and all that. We're going to start with my man JP, John Perez, the real Perez. Where can they find you on social media, brother? Well, don't follow me. Follow my girls, Perez Triplets, mm-hmm. YouTube, um, Triplet House. You know, um, we appreciate the love. Anybody who supports us and all our friends and family, shout out to them. My mom again. Shout out to my girl Dariani for having the triplets. Because that's not easy. That's some uh, good PR work right not there, to boy. Mention, not to mention she wo- she went full term. Ooh. Full mm. term. Yikes. And what is she, like 5'4"? So you already know, man. Shout out to her. <laughs> Yo, shout out. Yikes. Shout out to D. <laughs> all right. Hoop Firm, what's goody, man? Any shout outs you want to give out here in this world? Because I know you popping out here, man. You popping now. How you doing, man? It's your boy, Hoop Firm. We here for the <laughs> yeah. breakdown. Right now, we're doing step back jump shots. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just follow the page on Instagram, at Hoop Firm. You're just going to see, you know, drills on the daily. You're going to watch my kids grow, and uh, you're going to see them get a lot better. Okay. Shout out yeah. to the lady hoopers on your page, man. You got yeah. a lot of quality female one hoopers, thing, man. One thing I'll say about uh, the girls hoopers that I got, they they uh, they trendsetters for you know everything that's that's coming right now because mm-hmm. they, they was they was the first ones with me, and now I got a bunch of dudes that yeah, said you know that came in, in my drills, coming in my drills that's now. So and uh-oh. I already told them uh-oh. they they they, they uh, you know they keep doing what they're doing, working hard, and it's gonna show, and everybody gonna see it, and everybody gonna respect them. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is so right now. So, are you comfortable enough yet to set up like a, a a game with your girls against a game with some guys in the same age group? Yeah, they're ready to compete. They, yeah, they they competitors. Yeah, yeah. So we could. Set, I mean, I'm being serious. We could set up like a a nice little exhibition. Nothing too crazy, but a nice exhibition game to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, showcase the hoop firm, the ladies of hoop firm. You know what I mean? Word. What, I'd, them, re- what I'd really like to see is like a, a ladies league around here. There's no right, league definitely, like that. Definitely. I mean, you know. Definitely. I, know, I mean, definitely. I might know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies. They need that. I mean, the I might. Know, ladies. I mean, if hoop firm is willing to talk, we'll talk after. You know, we'll that, talk. That'll after be this. a beautiful beautiful situation that, for the county and then i think a lot of other people will follow suit i, I mean we definitely have a lot of influential females out here i know y'all see homegirl in at duke Ooh, oh, yeah. killing, i know y'all see jada that. doing her thing she dropped 21 yeah, so, of them so okay, that's all i'm saying so we got the influences now mm-hmm. i just gotta you know talk to some guys to see what's going on you know what <laughs> i mean so who firm be on deck for that because i think we should really discuss having a uh a, a league for them because that would be a beautiful thing, bro. Because they really need that. Facts. Yeah, they need opportunities. They want opportunities, and, and they'll and they'll take them. They'll take them. That's for sure. Ooh, and and having a dog like you with them, that's a know. that's a you good look. Know. Cause you ain't playing none of that. Nah, we gonna go. <laughs> now, last but not least, forty cal. Shout out to page. I didn't get it before. Oh, shout out the page. Hoop firm. Follow 
at Hoop Firm on Instagram, and you're going to see all of my players' drills. You're going to see them get better on a daily, weekly. Mm -hmm. So right. follow that page, at Hoop Firm. Okay. And if, if you want it live, you can pull up to, right in front of the rec center. He's out there, Every rain, day. sleet, Word. snow, no burning what sun, Word. freezing cold. I didn't see you out there in the 40 degrees. We out there. <laughs> We doing out there. drills out there that's the culture that's on the a culture. on we a triple there. rim and mm -hmm. and it's the ladies doing it the so all you guys running, out there running the park Fact. running every the day. park they working every you day, feel man. me and all these dudes out here telling me how nice they yeah. are two i bet days, they <laughs> 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 i do word allegedly nice <laughs> so now 40 what's going on man shout out everything you got going on we only got a couple minutes because nah, i know nah, you got nah, a lot nah, going nah. on player um on the gram not even worry about me at Palisades Elite, follow Palisades Elite. That's my older brother and John Van Dunk. That's mm -hmm. there. Shout out to Coach team, Coach Van Dunk, program. Coach Martinez, and um, shout out to my parents. Happy birthday to both of them. Their, their birthdays just passed the last week, both happy, of them. So happy birthday to your more parents, life, man. More, more life. life. <laughs> Right. Okay. And shout out to to my older brother Sean and, and Shannon. They the yeah. Shout out to Shannon. They, shout they out, down yo. the foundation yeah. for everything yo. We got shout going out on. to Sean and Shannon, and, and you know. special shout out to Sean for those that don't know. When I started out on a musical career, Sean was like my manager. Facts. You know, he was even, everywhere. Even though I had to do most of the thugging, but <laughs> <laughs> he was like my manager. You know, when he gave me the confidence. That's why I always say, man, it's gonna take somebody to see it in you to let you know that you need to do this. Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? So he saw it in me early, very early, and we were running around. I was battling people, and he was going to the studio and doing all this type of stuff. And even Shannon, <laughs> Shannon was with me at the studios, running around, doing different things, parties here, parties there. Come on, man. 40 Cal. You could hear him on all types of mixtapes if y'all really listening. And, and, and last shot of this to you, man. Your, nah, your, don't shout me up, man. Nah, chill, right. chill, nah, chill. Your, your growth from the ground up, where you started at with the music, you've done everything. Music. Appreciate it. Basketball, leagues, podcasts, radio. Like, I, I respect dreamers, and mm -hmm. you, you are completing your dreams and striving for your dreams. I respect that. Because it's always going to be doubters and people, people that would never do it. They can always tell you how not to do it, but fact, it, and that's a fact. Yo, I appreciate the, that, brother. This is, Word the first, up. this is the first man that I, I didn't think people that where you from can make music, and this dude showed me a song, and I'm like, "Yo, this sound like the radio for real. This yeah. is crazy." So shout to you, I, man. I definitely appreciate Influence. that, but it ain't about me. Nah, one <laughs> it's more about thing. Pete. As, far, uh, as far as that league, the VOH league, and. People used to say, oh, we should have our own league every year, year after year. Different people. This, oh, I'll do this. I'll do they this. Talk about Only it. one person, you know, went out and did it. And, you know, first year, it, it was one thing. Next year, it got bigger. And Then the draft. Hope, yep. Remember, we then had the, the draft, draft kept y'all together. It wasn't pretty. A lot of experiments. Got better. A lot of experiments. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people, they'll, they'll talk. But, you know, you got to put it into action. And, and you put it into action on a daily. Facts. And what you guys got going on, you, Z, this this setup is, is crazy. And I already know this is just going to be something that's great. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be fun. And it's a lot more fun than, <laughs> than you know, I even even thought it was going to be. So, oh, so, you, so, so you're you coming back. Uh, Part two. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Part two. Yeah. Part two. I'll I, I give one last shout out, man. From how we said the way you started from the ground up and everybody we believed in each other the original og never tuck your town man kwame sledge man Ooh. thank you he very let, much yes. he let everybody know that rockland has everything there's yep. nothing we can't do from rockland shout out to kwame so, man i'll say that man he he laid the foundation for for everything don't tuck your town that's he he he's the og of, of, of all of us being together that's, that's a fact. fact kwame put it into a perspective that let me understand like yo we're nice that's yep. all. When I went to the park, forget the forget the the tournaments that he put together. When they had the Midnight Madness, and mm -hmm. I went to the Midnight Madness, and I, we're playing against you know the dudes of the hood, and I'm like, yo, there's mad hoopers out here. Mm -hmm. And but remember, it's only us five, the five that we came with against the whole park. Mm -hmm. Like Kwame will tell you that story when he yeah. gets a chance to, but it's us against the whole I park. Used, I used to pull up with y'all. So imagine 11, 11 p.m. That's when <laughs> we start. You you know imagine going out to to this environment where you're the only five have a straw dudes. And you're playing against all of Spring Valley. Mm -hmm. Imagine that type of pressure. Was, and we're not was, losing. We well, think we're coming out there to lose. Yeah, right. It was fire. <laughs> yeah, right. But those nights, I've been out there a couple. I was away at college, those, but when I came back, it was fire. Those like, were legendary those were, nights. But that's real. what it takes. Shannon, and he put us in that position. To Shannon do that. was in college. Joe was in college. And Tavon was playing out there at like age 13. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> 
crazy. He's still working. That, that lets you know what level he was on, man. Tavon, on I cannot level. wait to get this conversation yeah. with Tavon because he was something different. But anyway, thank you, gentlemen, for your thank time. You, I appreciate you guys. P.E. Boot Firm. Perez Triplets. 40 Cal. 40. 40. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Got to talk in perspective. 40's on the Up Hudson. Up next, That's you already right. know, we're going to have Insatiable on the check-in. We're going to talk with Insatiable about what they've been up to, what's going down, and about our game with the family versus team. 57 at 530. Holla. We'll be back.